Hi guys, this is Ravenclaw What If. Welcome back to another What If story. Now this is What If Deku is a pure-blooded exile vampire part 8, I believe. I think that's where I I think that's the this oh sorry, sorry. I think that's where I left off on part I did part 7 last, but I'm gonna double check just to make sure. Uh, yeah, and I kind of went dark for a couple of days. I had to recover from my work week and um and from being just exhausted in general so that's why i there weren't any what ifs i i went totally dark i shot everything off my discord i just you know i was going to chill for like a couple of days that's 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 to recover and while i was recovering i was thinking about this what if and specifically because that's the one i told you guys that i was going to do next on you know Yesterday, but I kind of was not into it. My body just wasn't going to move. So, yeah, I slept all day. So. Now, before we begin. In this what if. Nezu and Izuku, they've met each other once or twice. Well, actually, more, uh, more than once or twice. They have a good relationship. I'm going to go into the what, how they know each other here in, in, in a little bit. So Izuku was a major factor in, um, in uh, how Nezi treats humans in general. As we cut to a, a laboratory somewhere in um, Germany... This is some some time in the past before Izuku um went to Japan. Izuku has traveled around the world. He's immortal, so he has the time. And he enjoys ex exploring occasionally. As he caught heard of something humans were doing that he doesn't quite approve of. These people are not affiliated. Uh, they have no ties with the German uh, military. They just like the location because it's sec secluded. No one's going to venture far into it. It's somewhere in the wilderness, in the uh, mountains. As he, uh, as he uh, grabs the metal gate, as he pulls the hinges off, as he throws it behind him, as it's on a... It's on a mountain path as they have some sentry people as they open fire. As he could just blast fire at them with one of his abilities that he he has. He has um Blood Whip, Fire and Lightning, and you know, telekinesis. He's a lot more powerful now because this is a time where he didn't have the blood seals. So there's going to be a lot more abilities he's going to show in this than he's shown in this series prior. As he has all the, all the humans lift up in the air as he snapped all their neck with, with telekinesis. As they all drop to the ground. As Izuku kicks the door open through the laboratory. As Izuku goes in and massacres everyone in there. As he's covered in blood. As he has his hand in, in a, um, a chopping, well, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, chopping gesture, like, like he's about to karate chop someone. As he's just been slicing them with his hand like that. As all the creature in the, um, operating, um, contain, containment cage. All he sees is so um these um humans getting slaughtered as the c containment cage um window or glass is all covered in blood. I normally don't involve myself in human affairs as he has the man by a neck as he lifts him up the air. But what you're doing here even disturbs me. If it disturbs me, then we clearly have we clearly have a problem. It doesn't matter. You won't be alive long enough to even care. As he snaps his neck, as he drops him to the ground. As he rips open the door. T 
to the containment cage that the Chimera is in. As the as Nezu um goes to the corner, as Izuku bends down on, on his level, as he you know, Izuku's like, My name is Izuku. I'm not here to hurt you, I'm here to free you. You could stay here or I could I could you know take you. It's all up to you. Creature. I really don't know what to call you. At some time he finally agrees as um as he leaves with his um Izuku. As over at that time he um nerves Nezu up to a full health. As Izuku, you know, talked to Nezu quite a bit about how humans act and how they sit and he slowly um Izuku slowly chip his hatred towards humans. He's still not okay being touched by them, but he's he's okay being around them. So eventually, you know, he did leave, went their own separate ways. As we cut back to the current Izuku, it there was a small time skip. It's been a couple years. Uh, UA hasn't happened just yet, but it will. It's a collagenous uh, what if, so. I have a idea for what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do this. So I thought about it. So uh, I'll, I'll go into it when I get to the point in the story. During these years, he finally got his, he got his own place with Toga. And Rain, as they haven't officially done the marriage, but they're, but it's pretty much, you know, she's already, you know, come to terms with it. Trying to make the best of a bad situation type of, type of thing she's going for. Izuku currently looks like this, as his hair has grown out as he has released one blood seal with the help of Toga and Rain. He, um, he guide him through the process. He slowly is getting the other one removed. I don't know. I think I said there was four or three blood seals. Let's say four. As, as this time, you know, the, um, Heroes Depressed Task Force has been created. They have been operating it for about a year. Izuku's been searching to get all the um, directors. He got majority of them, but humans want a human counterpart where Izuku um, takes command because each uh, each director has a section of Japan that they um, control, uh, that they operate in, and they want to place a human in Izuku's territory because they don't exactly trust a, a vampire to have the best interest of heart for the human race. And he also wants Nezu to be on one of the director boards. As he's in the car, as he, uh, the car opens, as he's in front of Yue. As Tuga's, you stay in the car, Tuga. This shouldn't take long. As Togo agreed, as he goes into the front gate, as he does security check him. I'm here to see um, Principal Nezu. I have the appointment. I am Izuku Midoriya. Good, sir. As, all right, as he calls in, yeah, you're, you're all clear. Very well. As they direct him to um, Nezu. Good afternoon, N Nezu. As Nezu, uh, Midoriya? I wasn't expecting you to be here. As Izuku sits down, I prefer a more face-to-face -face in, in encounters. I come here for, you know, your, uh, your, your answer. Nezu thinks, says it very well, old friend. I'll be happy to, but on one condition. As Izuku's like, and what is your condition, my friend? 
I need t uh, um, one of my teachers here couldn't, uh, will no longer able to fill the role as um, teacher and I need you to fill that role. You want me, a vampire, to teach a bunch of humans about heroes? I, the, um, the aspect of it, it, it is interesting, but why me? I have no knowledge of heroes, of being a hero nonetheless, as, as that is true. You don't have it. You don't really understand the concept of being a hero, but what you do have is, is experience. I don't know how long you've been on this earth, but pretty long, I could. T my education guess would be. It's very interesting. Way my um, pros and cons in this. As you think you're thinking, <sighs> very well. May I ask why hasn't the original teacher wasn't able to fill his role? He or she role. He he's a yeah you know, he's expecting a child so <sighs> fine. I'll train these um young younglings to be proper heroes. I'll have to do some research on heroes and get the gist of what you guys do. I normally don't. I get the premise of it, but I want to make sure I cover my bases. I normally don't you know pay attention too much human affairs anymore nowadays but this is a good opportunity to, to get a more personal experience for the future generation of your species so i have no problems with nezu call me when you get all the details sorted out and inform me when my first day of work apparently never thought i would be a teacher but oh Vampire got to do what a vampire has to do. Is there anything else I, sh I should know, Nezu? As Nezu's like, yes, there is. You're going to have to take a test. Excuse me? Well, you can't be teacher at UA. You have to be a hero, and we're going to make you a hero. Are you... S oh, this is going to be so much effort. Most likely, my friend, but... You got nothing but time on your hands. After all, un unlike the rest of us, um, you can't die. Well, you can't die from old age. <sighs> Fine, I'll try this. Do this, what do you call it? Hero license deal? I'll, whatever. This, send, me, um, send me all the information. I have, to, I have some other things to take care of. Goodbye, Nezu. It's good to see you again. Uh, I guess I should start calling you boss now. That's an interesting position I'll be in. As Isuku starts laughing as he, he shuts the door. As Toka wraps her arm around Izuku at when as soon as he enters the car. So what's going on? What's next? As, uh, we need uh, I need to take a little trip to the Yada Rosus. The humans want me to have a, a human counterpart to keep an eye on me and who's better to do that this is a well-known vampire family a vampire hunter family i've met one of them prior from going here japan as toga's pouting don't worry little don't worry toga nothing happened i just teased her a little bit now don't get jealous as, you know, Izuku's making fun of her. And she's like, whatever. As, you know, she sit back. As they get to the mansion, the manor. As Izuku has already informed them ahead of time. He doesn't want to surprise them because it took a lot of negotiations to get a meeting with the, with, with Mrs. Yairozu. Now, Toga, be on your best behavior. That's just fine, Izuku. I'll be in my best behavior. As she smiles, as Toga pat, uh, Izuku pats her on the head. 
as the staff directs her to the main hall of the manor, as he sees a woman in a business suit, as she says, please sit down. It's good to finally meet you, Izuku. As Izuku, you know, his, his eyeball raised, I am well aware of your presence here in Japan. I've been meaning to have a one-on-one -on -one chat with you for a while now. When it comes to vampires, you are different. You don't act the same as the normal, the normal purebloods. So what exactly do you want with me? Why did you um, request this meeting? Just out of curiosity. First off, thank you for gracing me into your home, Miss Yairozu. As soon as you can sit down, I'm quite surprised, actually. That I figured this room will be a bunch of, of your hunters aiming crossbows at me. As you can give a playful smile. And she's like, I know that would be completely pointless how powerful you are, Mr. Midoriya. True, but... It is nice to see you're not trying to kill me straight off the bat. So anyways, the reason why I wanted a meeting with you, I've had a organization created by just of the different races all around the world. You know, that new agency that popped up about a year ago, the Hero Suppressed Task Force. And she's like, Continue. But the humans, the mortals in your mortal government, want to have a human present to keep an eye on me. Just in case I have the best interests of your species at heart. So I would like to ask if one your family would be, grew, would be willing to fill that role. It doesn't matter which one your family does it, as long as it's a Yazarozu. After all, your family is well known to be uh, vampire hunters. Trained. Trained very well indeed. But you don't have to answer it off straight off the bat, Mrs. Yairuzu. I don't want to force upon this decision on you. Think about it. Come on, Tuga. As contact me when you um when you came up with your decision. Something like this probably requires a lot of this uh, a de a debating, after all. I am a vampire. As he waves her off. As we time the, the uh, as we um, time skip the next day, as there's a lot of bang on his front door, as he's sitting on his chair in the middle of his hallway. You know, he has, he's a vampire, so he's going to have like a throne area. As he sees a familiar wolf, come running at him as she has excited face on her face as she's personal space, Kennedy. What you got, what got you all excited out of nowhere and destroy my door, by the way. As, she, as she's like, I heard as soon as I, uh, I came, as soon as I heard of all people, you're going to be a teacher. That's funny. As she's buzzed up laughing, <sighs> laugh it up, wolf. Well, as lovely as his encounter has been, Kennedy, I must take my leave. I have a meeting to attend to. As Izuku leaves, says, Oh, by the way, you could feel free to stay as long as you want. You're, you're always welcome here. And she goes off to relax somewhere in the Izuku, you know, manor. Now, sun doesn't affect him whatsoever, so... You, you don't have to worry about him burning alive if he's out in the sunlight. So, as he, as he decided to take a walk to the meeting place, as they're meeting at a, um, a coffee shop, Zuku sits down in one of the tables. As he noticed two women approach him, as one of them, they both sit opposite of him, in front of the booth. 
as he sees Mrs. Yairozu and one of her daughters, the eldest. As he greets Mrs. Yairozu, as she's like, um, Midoriya, this is my daughter, um, I don't know what to call her. <sighs> let's see, um, let's just go as Yuna because it's the first name that popped in my head. So, we'll, we'll just go as Yuna Yairozu. I believe you two are acquainted. As, unfortunately, as Luna, or Yuna, sorry, Yuna, is like, unfortunately, nice to see you again. Yuna? That's a very lovely name. As she's like, shove it, vampire. Uh, I, I know, as she's like, suck it, uh, shove it, bloodsucker. I'm, I'm, I'm wounded. Deeply. As Izuki says, teasing her. And she's like, all right. Well, I talked to my uh, my family, my husband, and our people. We agree upon it. My daughter here will be keeping an eye on you. That's under As long as it's a Yada Rozu, I have no issue. What's your end game, really? As Yuna is getting more, she wants to know what Izuku's in game. My main goal and will always be the safety of the human race. As they're they're not buying it. And the main focus of my new direction is because of my little sister's death. As is Mrs. Mrs. Yarrow is like, why would your a vampire's death mean anything to humans? Says, I don't understand what you're getting at. <sighs> She's adopted. Was adopted. Not really. Uh, she she uh, she was human. She was killed because of a power grab from one of the Lycan clans. She had no part in this this world. I kept her out of a majority of things. Over time, I've gone to love her as a sister, and when she was taken for me, that was not very nice of them. Despite my issues with my past, I don't want something like that. To happen again, period. I know majority of my species don't look at your, your, your kind. In a very high light, most of them think of you are a blood source. But I think otherwise. That's the reason why I didn't kill you at the manor. Yuna. You left me tied up. I'm like, yeah. Well, you got out, did you? You're a vampire hunter. I figure you'll get out eventually. Zizuku hands her the card. Here's the directions to the uh, to the HQ that I'm in control of. I'll be in there tomorrow. I don't really sleep because considering a uh, vampire and all. And I'm a bit of a. We're I'm a, I'm a bit of a night owl. Excuse me one moment, ladies. As his phone rings, as Toga, I'm fine. I'm just having a meeting with the Yadarozus. No, they're not trying to kill me. Just relax. Toga, dearest. As Toga's like, don't dearest me. You shouldn't have gone alone. As Toga's like, I'm coming. As Toga, you know, <sighs> my apologies. Mrs. C.I. Rosie, but we're, we're going to have an extra. My dearest fiance thinks that you're going to stake me. As, as there were, um, Mrs. C.I. Rosie was just surprised how direct he was. He's like, don't worry if anyone overheard, I could easily, you know, erase the memory. Nifty being a vampire and all. Sometime when their discussion, Toga did arrive as she would stare daggers at the Yadarozus. 
No reason to be threatened, Toga, dear. So it looks at Izuku as she's like, as um, your girlfriend and your soon-to-be wife, your safety is my main concern. As she stares daggers at the Yada Roses. As it's easy to be sorry about her, she could be um, overprotective over times. As time progressed, as Izuku and Yuna, as Izuku showed her around what needs to be done, how the order organization works, as the Hero Suppressed Force is a, let's say, cover for a um, more deeper task force to hunt down any supernatural creatures that breaks the the major laws that endangers the existence of supernatural creatures in such nature. Or they um, threaten human race in some way. So they were so he informed her that that they are tasked to to neutralize any future problems that would ever occur. No matter what species she came from, once they break that law we have free reign to bring them in or silence them if needed. And I also need someone to cover for me while I am doing my other job. As Eunice like, what do you mean your other job? Oh yeah, um, when UA starts um, their college, I guess what you human calls it, I'll be teaching one of the hero courses apparently. I'm already going in the process of getting a hero license, making my de debut here in a little bit. I don't know what class I'll be teaching yet. They haven't informed me, but it would be interesting to play the role as a vampire teacher teaching a bunch of humans. Uh, irony. Izuku's been researching heroes, what they're all about, as he doesn't quite understand it, the the whole the whole lore of it, as Luna's in, in his office, as as she's like, "What's wrong, uh, Izuku? Oh, this whole hero thing, I don't understand it. I can read about it, but it still doesn't make sense to me." As he stumped on this, as she's like, instead of reading about it, why don't you just go, you know, experience it? There should be some hero fights going around somewhere in um, Japan. And judging on the resources that we have, we could easily find a location for you to experience, to, to, to observe. As, she's, as he's like, I think you're right. Ms. Yairozu. As she's like, don't call me that. That's weird. That makes me sound old. Fine. <coughs> Fine, Luna. Or Yuna. You'd be right. I should take a walk. If, if my, if, um, Toga or Rain call, tell them where I'm, where I'm going. Just taking a nice little relaxing walk. She's like, yeah, I got you. Are you sure you want to leave me in charge? I mean, I might have some or Twitter motives. As he said, good laughs. I, even if you did, I it wouldn't even care. I, it doesn't matter to me. You could try to kill me. It's all good. It's not. I. I used to get. I used to get um, slayers come at me all sorts of times, but. Your family, out of all the vampire families, vampire hunter families that I've, that I've come across, your family is the most honorable. So I don't believe you would do something that devilishly interesting. As he's, as he gives a, a grin, and she's like, whatever, as Izuku leaves. As it's nighttime, as he, Izuku just walking down the street, as his hands in his his pockets, he 
as Izuku is getting very uncomfortable and not a surprise when it comes to Midoriya. As his instincts tell him to run, just run, escape, something's coming. Uh, it's very disturbing towards him. As Izuku turns around, as he sees two women with two wings, well, two women that have, um, one of them has pure white wings, as the other one has pure black wings, as they're floating in the air, a little above Izuku, looking down upon him. Also, at the same time, conjure up a golden sword and point it at, at, at Izuku. As you see the, uh, the black hair angel creates her golden weapon. As they both point at Izuku. By order of the archangels, you, spawn of Satan, must be cleansed. As she's staring down at Izuku as the blonde finally speaks. What my sister says is true, dear, um, poor creature. You must be cleansed. We'll try to make this as painless as possible. Unfortunately, you poor creature, you must be eradicated. Anyone with the vile blood of the mother of all vampires must die. As the offspring of Lilith herself, you must be cleansed from this world. As we're going to probably stop it there. Yeah, it's a good stop to leave it off. Because if I go further, it's going to be a long ass episode. And I don't want to hurt my throat. So, <laughs> hope you guys have a good night and day. Judging by time zones. And see you in the next video.